Welcome to my channel. My name is Chanel and welcome to day one of my classroom setup. So today my goal, I actually made a plan. If you watched my last video, like I did not know what I wanted to do. I had no idea what I wanted to do, like an organization or setting things up. And I didn't really like have a theme and I have a plan now and I have a theme and I have some ideas. So my theme is kind of going to be pastel -y. Is that even a word? It's going to be pastel -y. I don't care if it's not a word. I just made it a word um, with like pastel colors and I'm not really going for like one vibe like in the last video I was really like oh I should do like greens or yellows or like pinks and I don't want to just stick with one color like back here I talked about it again in my last video like I really liked how it was just like a bunch of like pastel colors and I'm going to do that as my theme so here I am I'm saying it first classroom setup day one we're doing a pastel theme and what I want to do is like if you saw my last video you would know that I had a lot of stuff on my walls but I didn't know like if I wanted to keep them up or if I wanted to like redo them and I think I'm kind of going to just replace some of the damaged things and kind of start from scratch there because I don't think I want to like completely take down all the things of the stuff that actually stayed up but I do want to like take out the things that are like really really gross really really dirty really really damaged damage teared or worn down and like replace them with something like a bit more new and it's really really easy I can just go ahead and print those things but I don't have a laminator so I'm not laminating again this year like if I had a laminator I wouldn't have to go ahead and like redo this stuff again um and that's not a problem it's just like a little bit annoying because it's like I don't have to pay for color ink like I can literally just go to the copy room and do it so that's what I'm going to go do right now put up the stuff that I know I definitely want to keep there and kind of just take out the old stuff take out the gross stuff and then I'll have like a template hopefully for my classroom and I can actually start putting stuff together. So this wall is what I'm going to work on first. Like I really want this to just stay with like the country posters that I had because I really love how they look. And the ones that stayed up honestly aren't in bad condition and I have a few more which I'm gonna put up right now. And I think it'll look like pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so this is what it ended up looking like and I honestly am surprised that the tape from last year actually was still able to hold this up. Like we'll see next time I come like if it actually stays on, but I really love how it looks and I really can't complain. It really looks really well put together and I'm happy that I'm staying with this idea and keeping these right where they are. And also going along with the Spanish flags, like I also have these and I could easily just cut these out and put them somewhere. Like I don't know if I want to put them right next to the countries or if I want to put them somewhere else along the classroom and I could even print out more these as well but I really wanted to get like the Spanish heart ones like it's like the flag but like with a heart of the country flag and I think that would look so cute but at the same time like I really don't want to have to pay for something if I already got these for free so I may just have to work with these right now and I don't know if I want to put them on the desk or if I maybe want to put them on like the counters or like the tabletops or something or if I actually want to like hang them up or put them on the wall or something I may hold off for this right now because I can't really put them on that wall because I think it would look way too crowded and I don't know I like maybe we'll just see like what the classroom looks like like what I'm just putting everything together and then I could kind of see where these could go in and I still need to cut them obviously and I would love to laminate them but I just I don't have a laminator <laughs> so we'll see what I can get done because right now I want to put these up I know I definitely do but I just I don't know where. <laughs> also, one other thing that I definitely, definitely want to do like right now is get those like papers up there kind of hung up. Those are like my go-to walls for my students. Like they like definitely, they don't need, but they really, really do benefit from those papers being up. And you can't see them from right here, but those are just like the super 16 words, which are like the 16 most commonly used words for Spanish students that like they use like almost in every single sentence. So having those right up at the front of the classroom benefits them so much because they can easily just like see while they're looking up there. And I'm 
gonna go put those up right now because last year I had it like they were doing construction with like that little chemistry thing right there and it was like kind of a mess but now that it's actually done thankfully so I can finally go ahead and like actually make this neat and cute and nice so I'm gonna go work on that right now and I'm hoping that everything goes well like I have printed copies just in case I do mess up but I really 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 hope that I don't mess up because I kind of hate going on the chairs and like doing all that because I don't know let's just start it so I swore that I had all of these printed out but I apparently don't have them all printed out as you can see like there's just still some missing like that means like the top means that I have the present and the bottom means that it's a past tense so I would like to have both of them and it's easy to print them out I just don't want to go print that stuff out right now um I'd rather just get stuff done right now but I thought I had everything and I have this mountainous stack of papers and I don't know I just I didn't print them out so I just finished that actual wall and I'm like so disappointed in myself because I swore that I had all of the things printed out but apparently in my giant stack of papers I did not have them all printed out Bruh. and there's like one two three four five six blank spaces of like the things I need to reprint out but I just I don't want to go and just print stuff out right now like, I'm just not feeling it like it's just not the mood right now like I'm just not about to go do that just for whatever reason I'm just not really feeling it um but so now I just have that up there and there's like six random blank spaces which is like I'm gonna say that for my next day that I come in case I have to do go and print some more stuff so that way I'm not just like going to the copy room coming back going to the copy room coming back I'll just print everything all at once and that'll just save me a lot of time um but for at least right now it's looking good I think I am going to print out maybe like three or four more words like a whole word set so that way I can really finish up that wall because if you saw before like it only goes like three-fourths of the way so I just have to think of like three or four more words I would want to put on the wall I wish the colors were a bit more pastel -y, or I wish that I did a better job at organizing them or maybe I should have put them in like ABC order or by color because what I have right now it's just kind of scattered all over the place which isn't bad like I kind of like it a little bit but maybe ABC order would have been the better option 
Um, but right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on those question words with like the conversation bubble things. And I'm going to rehome these up because I decided I am going to stick with these. If you saw my last video, I was like, I don't know if I want to keep these or not. But I decided I am going to keep them. Um, and I added a few more, like I cut out a few more and I'm going to put those up as well. And I'm really excited to go ahead and put these up. So let's go ahead and start doing that right now. Don't want to miss me. This is all you need. Be your everything, and yeah, I'll be your everything. Still too soon to feel. Please just say it's real. More than just a thrill. Not just in it for the thrill. I'm in it for the love. So I just completed those conversation bubbles up there. Like you can kind of see them a little bit, but they honestly turned out really, really nice. I do have a few more that I think I would want to print because I think it would make it look just a little bit more cute and a little bit more put together. But I'm honestly not sure if I want to fill up that whole wall. I think I could, I think I could get enough stuff to fill up the whole wall. But at the same time, I'm really not sure if I want to or not because I kind of like, like having some white spots here and there in the classroom. I really don't like when my classroom personally is filled in with just so many things. Um, um, because I think it can be really distracting for students um, and myself too. So I really do like to have white spaces on your walls. And if you are like, oh, having a white space on your wall isn't okay, it is completely okay. Um, because having a lot of stuff really does distract students, but you are the one who knows your students the best. Um, so that's just my own personal preference. But I think last year I had a little bit too much white on my walls and I would have preferred like maybe just filling up the space a little bit more here and there. Even though it doesn't seem like I just did a lot, like to print it out, to cut it out, to take tape it to actually put it up to fix it up and adjust it to make sure it is just right it really does take like a little bit amount of time um but right now i'm really not sure what i want to do that's always the question right like what do i want to do um <laughs> i'm going to actually put up more circles on my little affirmation wall area thing because i don't have enough and I would like to fill in that space just a little bit more, but I'm still not sure what I want to put in for the banner. So I'll go ahead and do that right now and let's just get to it. So it doesn't look that different, but like to me personally, I can see the difference and I really do like how I filled in the space just a lot more. And I love this blank because last year I did have these like banner things that ended up saying soyo that I kind of just hung up along there. Um, I don't know if I want to reuse these. I could easily just put these up just right now, just kind of like for filler. And I think I will just so I can like kind of just think and see what I really want to put in it. But I don't know if I want to keep this up. Like this really does scream fall and it'll be nice for September, October, and November. But long term, 
I could easily just change these in Canva and I kind of like the yellow and the green a little bit, uh, but I don't know if I would want a different color or not, but I really don't know if I want to keep this saying. It really does fit in with the affirmation type of corner that I have here, but I don't know, but I'm just going to put this in for filler right now just because it would be nice to just have something there and then I can kind of change it eventually if I want to. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do right now and hopefully it goes okay. I want to keep the lettering because I don't like how it's three then two. Maybe I would prefer it being three and three or two and two just because right now I definitely can't use this because it's O in here and I can't open up the cabinet even if I wanted to even though there's other stuff in it. But this is what it looks like for right now. I'm kind of okay with it. I'm not that displeased with it. I may put in a few more circles here and there maybe just as the school year progresses or if I keep doing this classroom setup. But for right now it's okay. I'm not complaining and I'm kind of content with this. Okay so I literally have done so much so far and I'm so happy I brought this giant thing of water because I'm so thirsty like and my school doesn't have good water so I'm literally not even going to try and trust it so I'm happy I brought this thing because it is getting me through this day so far and I really don't know what else I want to do today like I got like the main stuff so I think today right now may just be a good starting spot because once you come into the classroom setup thing like there is so much to do and at times it can be very overwhelming and I think just doing it like little by little day by day is honestly like the greatest thing because I can go home and I can sleep on it and I can look up ideas and I can just take my time and I don't have to rush anything because I really don't want to rush anything and I really don't know but my biggest takeaway right now is that I'm happy that I have a template and I'm really really happy that I'm starting to put things together but I really want to fill in and focus on like the smaller things and I do have some ideas which I'm hoping they turn out to be okay. I just have to work on creating them a little bit, but I don't know. And even right here, I talked about it in my last video. I'm thinking this is going to be my bulletin board for like the for like my word wall and that's different from the words that are up on the front of the classroom like these are like the smaller words that students often forget i was also thinking that this could be like i don't know like a handout station like a student center information type thing because i do have a lot of handouts that students do use regularly but i don't know because i think the student handout section may be able to go somewhere else but i haven't done that last year but i think doing it this year may be a good idea because we're bored certainly in person and my new year's resolution this year was to really just cut back on the chromebook and really focus on using pen and paper and i did that near like the second half of the school year so i was really really happy with that so now that i'm focusing more on that and i feel like more confident using more pen and paper it may be a great time to bring that in for the new school year because that just may be absolutely perfect okay honestly my classroom is just a little bit messy and i'm really not liking how like it is right now because if it's messy i really cannot cooperate i cannot do anything so i'm going to try to clean up just a little bit revision and just kind of relook at the classroom and then that way hopefully it will give me a clear mind and a clear focus so i can actually start to concentrate and be more productive
much it for today. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So I am going to be doing classroom setups for like the next few weeks. So make sure you're subscribed so that way you can see all that great content. And if you have ideas, I'm always, always open. I love the ideas I've gotten previously. Please make sure to keep those coming because they have helped me so much and they've really just given me a new vision.